So now let's talk about moving into something we call search concepts using a mnemonic device called PICO. Um, as I said, you know, what you don't want to do is leap straight into searching without thinking about your concepts and your keywords that uh, your ideal record should contain. Um, and, and there's really no such thing as an ideal record, but for the sake of argument, a, a very good record for your search, right? So not thinking about these things will, will more often than not, it just leads to frustration, right? So what do I mean specifically about concepts versus keywords? The concept is the platonic ideal of what you're trying to find. For example, if I wanted to run a search on children with autism, I might say, well, children with autism, that's, that's the way to say that, right? But then when you start thinking about in the English language and all the synonyms and verb differences, word variants that it contains, you realize that there are many different ways to say that exact idea. So we could say children with autism, a child with autism, childhood autism. There are so many different kinds of children, right? Youths, infants, primary school age, adolescent, teens, teenage, teenager, or high schooler. You, you, you have to think about journal articles out there or records out there that are describing children more specifically than just using the word children. And you have to think about how to capture those in your search by searching on the words that they might contain. Autism is the same three thing. There aren't quite as many keywords, but uh, autistic is another way to say that. Or some, you know, casually, you might even say on the spectrum or ASD. So what keywords will the, a great record contain? They're out there and we just don't know what exactly they say, which is a problem for searching when you're putting words into a computer saying, tell me, show me the records that contain these words. You have to broaden your conception of what words are out there that are actually relevant to your search. Let's talk first about concepts. So every clinical question is made up of um, these four essential elements. And what you want to do is search on a, a well-defined clinical question. So the, your health scenarios that you're presented with can be analyzed and broken down using the PICO method. PICO stands for patient problem, or if you have a public health question, it may stand for population. Intervention is I, comparison is C, and O is outcome. So what do these things mean? Well, your patient problem or population is how would you describe their patient and what is their primary health problem that you're looking to address by the intervention. The intervention is what you're considering for the patient's care. Is it surgery, medication, using a diagnostic test, a lifestyle intervention, like a diet? And the comparison is, comparisons are not always present in clinical questions, but there may be two alternative, and uh, you know, two options that you're considering. Uh, one type of medication versus a comparison, another type of medication. Uh, comparisons, as I said, are optional. A comparable alternative may not exist for your question. And then the outcome, uh, what are you hoping to achieve for the patient? You know, some interventions may reduce ch the chance of mortality, um, for example, from a surgical procedure, um, but that may not be your question. Your question may be, what is the patient's quality of life after that intervention? What are you weighing here? Um, uh, or does the outcome minimize side effects for these, uh, for these interventions? So here's an example. We have a health scenario here. Sally, an 18-year-old female, has just been diagnosed with a deleterious mutation of the breast cancer susceptibility gene 1, called BRCA1. She has recently started taking oral contraceptives. She asks you if taking oral contraceptives will increase her risk of early onset breast cancer and whether she should change to another form of contraception. Now what we need to do here is analyze this scenario and sort of look past the extraneous detail or the too specific information. Um, when I say, you know, what is the patient problem, people start describing the patient. They say, well, she's an 18-year-old female. What we need to do for search is to narrow in on the concepts that need to be represented in articles we find in order for those articles to be relevant to answering this question. 
So the patient's problem here is that she has an inherited BRCA1 gene mutation. And the intervention, it, this is not an intervention that we're considering. It's actually one that's already happened and that the medical intervention now is taking oral contraceptives. The comparison is another form of contraception, like a non-hormonal form of contraception. And the outcome that we're interested in is the risk, whether it's greater or lower, right, of early on onset breast cancer. Now, PICO is just a tool to use to analyze a health scenario. It doesn't have a right answer, and it's not always, the, you know, a perfect answer. But what it is, is it helps you make sure that when you go to search, you have a well-formed clinical, clinical question. Research actually shows that um, doctors that use PICO to analyze health situations and build their search from there are more successful at searching than those who don't. So let's take an, uh, a look at um, maybe a physical therapy style question. So this health scenario has already been sort of written into a clinical question. In patients with Parkinson's disease, does training with visual cues reduce the risk of a fall compared to usual care? The patient problem here, if you wanna stop the video, pause the video, sort of think it over um, and come up with what you, you think your own answers would be, you can do that now. What I would say about this clinical question is that the, the patient is, uh, they have Parkinson's disease. That's the problem. And then the intervention you're considering is uh, reducing the risk of a fall compared to usual care. And so the comparison here, it's sort of explicitly stated that there's no comparison we're interested in right now. Um, so just jot down none for that. And then the outcome we're interested in is reducing falls. So in my opinion, any record that we're interested in reading to answer this question is going to be about Parkinson's disease, visual cues, and reducing falls. Here's sort of a paramedic example. So does pre-hospital tracheal intubation increase survival rates for patients with out-of-hospital cardiac arrest? If you'd like to think it over and maybe, you know, make some decisions about what the PICO is, you are welcome to pause the video now and to do that. So analyzing this question, the patient has out-of-hospital cardiac arrest. The intervention we're interested in is tracheal intubation. And there is no comparison in this particular question. And then the outcome we're interested in is survival rates. So having gone through those examples, I'd like you to give this a try. The, a worksheet has been provided alongside these videos. So I, I'd like you after this video to go to your worksheet. Um, and I can show you a picture of it in, in a second. Um, the first question has a table that says P-I-C-O. I'd like you to take a look at the following scenario and fill out a PICO for this particular health scenario. Your patient saw online that supplementing her diet with vitamin D may reduce her risk of heart disease. On another website, she read that supplementing with folic acid can also decrease her risk. She asks you whether she should begin taking one or both of these supplements to decrease her risk of heart disease. All right, so um, I am going to switch over now to show you the worksheet. Um, Oh, you know what? I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to leave this slide up and take a look at the scenario as you work. And um, hopefully it's clear how to fill out the worksheet. In fact, why don't I just quickly show you the worksheet and then come back to this slide. Let me see. Okay, so here is the search worksheet you're going to be filling out alongside these videos. And what I'd like you to do is for question one, to take a look at that scenario, which I'll put back up on the screen. Um, you can pause the video, fill out the P-I-C-N-O for this health scenario. Okay, so now we're back to this scenario. You can go ahead and pause the video and fill out your question one. 